you know, all the young guys are here to showcase what they're doing, but you guys really stepped up front. The guys who have been the stalwarts all year long. I mean, is that something that you guys got to prove? I mean, at this point in the season, I mean, not really. Thank you. No, not really, but we have a lot of young guys coming here and they're energizing us. Uh -huh. they're, they're coming in here and they got legs for days. And I'm just trying to match these guys. Smith and Chase, they would just go for days. And I'm just trying to do my part, uh, my part here to end off the year on a good note. I mean, how important is um, you guys to be spoilers in this playoff race? I mean, y'all are so mathematically alive, I guess. But a team like Lake Erie is right there on the cusp, I and mean, y'all know that going in. I mean, do you play, play the game in a different way? Not really at all. I mean, we've tried to play the same way all year. Uh -huh. um, it, it's not a matter of trying to spoil anybody's or rain on anybody's parade, but for me, it's just a matter of pride, and that's for us too, especially at home. You know, that's what we stressed in the pregame meeting was we, we don't lose games at home, especially on a Saturday night here. And, the fact that we still have 5,000 plus fans coming out to support us, that we're, we're trying to do all that we can to, to keep a, a level head on our shoulders. Now it seems like y'all y'all forechecked well tonight. Y'all did a bunch of things that we hadn't seen in the last five or six home games. I mean, what was the difference? I mean, just attitude? Yeah, the guys are pretty fired up. Uh, for whatever reason, uh, we, had a, we had pretty much an off day yesterday, just an optional skate. So I think guys are pretty fresh. and. Um, it's a good crowd in there. I don't know how, you know how loud you guys can hear it, but for us to, for me to think it's loud out there, then I can imagine it's, it's rocking, and, and that really gets us going. And it's really cool that, like I said, it's really cool that there's still a ton of people here supporting us, even though we're all but out of the playoff race. Can you talk a little bit about playing for those newer guys, especially with someone like Campbell and Nett? You know, the first couple of starts can be pretty rough when you're transitioning into the program. We're just trying to help them out, and that's all we were talking about once we got a lead. Uh, we kind of blew a form last night, so uh, you know those kids are kind of fragile. I knew when I was coming out junior, I, I didn't have a ton of confidence, and, and, and he's got a he's got a good head on his shoulders. He's, he knows what's going on, and, and he really stood up for us today. So that's I feed off him, and so do we. His energy that he brings, and, and his confidence, and his maturity, I, everybody feeds off him. I mean, three years out now from your transition from the OHL to pro, I mean, what what would be some advice that you would give to these guys like Smith and Chase on? are now making that transition as well. Well, it's good for them that they get a little sniff here at the end of the year. Uh, when I came out, I got, a, I got a little bit of a sniff in Boise in, in Idaho, and, and all I would say is just be a sponge. That's to just soak up everything all the old guys say, and I consider myself one of the older guys now, which is weird, but um, just, just soak in everybody. Because you'll have a little step coming in here next year. There'll be new guys coming in here next year, but you'll have had those 9 10 games under your belt, and, and you'll know what it's all about. And, just stay quiet and listen to everything guys say and, and guys' mannerisms and really learn how to be a professional hockey player because it's, it's, a, it's a transition, that's for sure.